Japan joins UN Security Council as new non-permanent member. Here's a summary of the article. Japan joined the UN Security Council as a non-permanent member Sunday, starting a two-year stint amid growing calls for the world body's reform following its failure to halt Russia's aggression in Ukraine. Tokyo takes a non-permanent seat of the council, in charge of ensuring international peace and security, for a record 12th time since it became a member of the United Nations in 1956 following its previous 2016-2017 term. Japan occupies the rotating monthly chair of the council for January, at a time when the 15-member council has failed to take effective steps against Moscow's invasion of Ukraine and North Korea's repeated ballistic missile launches with permanent members Russia and China a key benefactor of the North, exercising their veto power. Japan has long expressed its ambition to become a permanent member of a reformed Security Council, along with countries such as Germany, India and Brazil. The world's third largest economy won an annual election in June at the General Assembly, consisting of 193 countries, for five out of the ten non-permanent seats of the Security Council along with Mozambique, Ecuador, Switzerland and Malta. In a speech at the General Assembly in New York in September, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said Japan, as a Security Council member, intends to take action to strengthen the rule of law in the international community by listening not only to the big voices but also being attentive to the small voices. Takahiro Shinyo, an international politics professor at Kwansei Gakuin University, told Kyodo News that Japan's ability to help stop high handedness by Russia and China will be put to the test after becoming a non permanent council member. This post received a score of 21,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Non-permanent members are rotating positions where countries campaign years in advance for the seats. In case anyone is curious Mozambique replaced Kenya Japan replaced India Ecuador replaced Mexico Malta and Switzerland replaced Ireland and Norway. Man, they really wanted Kenya out of there, huh? Can you believe it? Only in Kenya. Come to Kenya, we've got lions. Forget Norway. Kenya. Oh, Kenya. This is a good article from 2016 about how Japan was pushing for a permanent seat and how China holds a veto and is likely to use it should Japan's name be put forward for a permanent seat on a revised and enlarged council. I mean, if not for China, Russia would veto it anyway. To them Japan is just a satellite of the US. Which it is. We're buds with Japan. They invent lots of great stuff. The headline makes this seems more important than it actually is. Kyoto News is a Japanese outlet, so it makes sense they're reporting it. What doesn't make sense is the number of upvotes this got in, our, world news. Then it makes sense that they're reporting exactly what's happening. This is likely a big deal because China's seat and recent aggression. Nah. Posts, articles that make Japan look good always get upvoted and those that make Japan look bad always get downvoted. There's a reason why people like to meme. Thing. Thing in Japan. It's funny too because pre-2015, Reddit hated Japan. A bunch of posts bringing up Japan's whaling. Japan's role in the illegal ivory trade, and Japanese cars being recalled always got tons of upvotes. Seems like once Reddit found a new boogeyman in China once Trump started going China China China. There was a 180 flip on Japan and the Japan bad posts pretty much went away. Dude it's Reddit. There is a disproportionate amount of weebs and gamers. They like Japan, because Japan makes a lot of shit they enjoy. I like the food, I also like the games and anime. All that has become more mainstream now. IDK why you are saying Trump mad people like Japan LMAO. What a weird ass thing to bring up for no reason. Why is this news? Countries join and leave all the time. This sub, or Reddit in general, has a tremendous amount of Japan fanboys who go hype whenever Japan does something. There is a large overlap between Reddit, anime, introverts, and hentai. The goal is fundamentally preventing war amongst member states. Suddenly everyone's afraid of serious conflicts between major powers. Sure proxy wars happen and corruption and asymmetrical warfare between no state actors and imperialistic forces and whatever. It's miles better than major powers going to full-scale war with each other. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.